Hello, I am Dr. Titilope Oduyeba, an obstetrician gynecologist with the Pregnancy and Birth Defects Team for the CDC 2016 Zika virus response. Over the next few minutes, I will discuss what we know about Zika virus infection during pregnancy and review the current CDC recommendations for the screening, testing, and management of women with possible Zika virus exposure. Currently, data on pregnant women infected with Zika virus are limited. Data suggests that pregnant women can be infected with Zika virus in any trimester. However, the incidence of Zika virus infection in pregnant women is not known. There is no evidence to suggest that pregnant women are more susceptible to Zika virus or experience more severe disease than non-pregnant women. Regarding Zika virus transmission, there is evidence of transmission of Zika virus from mother to fetus during pregnancy and also around the time of delivery. Because there is not a vaccine nor prophylactic medication available to prevent Zika virus infection, CDC recommends that pregnant women in any trimester consider postponing travel to areas with ongoing Zika virus transmission. If a pregnant woman lives in or travels to an area with Zika virus transmission, she should strictly follow steps to avoid mosquito bites. CDC recommends the use of EPA-registered insect repellents such as DEET, picaridine, IR3535, and oil of lemon eucalyptus or paramethane diol. When used as directed, these insect repellents are considered safe and effective for pregnant women. Other strategies include wearing long sleeve shirts and long pants to cover exposed skin, when permetrin treated clothing and staying and sleeping in screened in or air conditioned rooms. The mosquitoes that transmit Zika virus bite mostly during the daytime and sometimes at night. Now, I would like to briefly review CDC's updated interim guidelines for healthcare providers caring for pregnant women and women of reproductive age with possible Zika virus exposure. These guidelines were published on February 5th, 2016 in CDC's Morbidity and Mortality Weekly Report and provide an update to CDC's interim guidelines for U.S. healthcare providers caring for pregnant women during a Zika virus outbreak. As in the original guidance, pregnant women with a history of travel to an area with Zika virus infection and who have symptoms consistent with Zika virus disease, which include fever, rash, joint pain, and red eyes should be prioritized for testing for Zika virus infection. The updated guidelines include a new recommendation to offer serologic testing to pregnant women with a history of travel to an area with ongoing Zika virus transmission and who are asymptomatic, meaning they do not report clinical illness consistent with Zika virus disease. Testing should be performed two to 12 weeks after travel. Although we have limited information about antibody testing of asymptomatic people, data from related viruses suggest that this testing may be useful when the time frame of exposure is unknown. The updated guidelines recommend what healthcare providers caring for women living in areas with ongoing Zika virus transmission can do. The guidelines also recommend steps for screening, testing, and managing pregnant women and counseling women of reproductive age, 15 to 44 years. Pregnant women who reside in areas with ongoing Zika virus transmission have an ongoing risk for infection throughout their pregnancy. For pregnant women with clinical illness consistent with Zika virus disease, testing is recommended during the first week of illness. In addition, Testing is recommended at the initiation of prenatal care with follow-up testing mid-second trimester for asymptomatic pregnant women living in areas with ongoing Zika virus transmission. Local health officials should determine when to implement testing of these pregnant women based on information about levels of Zika virus transmission and laboratory capacity. Healthcare providers should discuss reproductive plans 
including pregnancy intention and timing with women of reproductive age in the context of the potential risks associated with Zika virus infection. For more detailed information about CDC's recommendations, please read CDC's updated interim guidelines for healthcare providers caring for pregnant women and women of reproductive age with possible Zika virus exposure. CDC's guidance will be updated as we learn more. For more information about Zika virus, visit cdc.gov slash Zika. Thank you.